How big a moment is this, Mary? This is an incredible moment. We have been waiting for evidence just like this uh, since we first discovered that there were ocean worlds outside of our own Earth. Um, you know, so the mantra for NASA has been follow the water. We find lots of water in these oceans. We find evidence of organics in the building blocks of life. And now we have found a source of energy. So this is an incredible moment right. for us. What, what, are the, what is the terrain we're talking about and how similar is it to anything anywhere you might find on this planet? So the hydrogen is being produced because the core of Enceladus is very porous. And so ocean water can move through it, get heated by um, energy from the core, interact with the rocks, and then vent in some fashion uh, into the overlying uh, ocean water. Now, uh, a good example of this is what we find in our deep oceans uh, known as hydrothermal vents. Now, we're not sure that we have these tall structures, but it's the same kind of chemistry. And as you may know, when we discovered these 40 years ago, we found them because they were surrounded by incredibly complex and beautiful ecosystems, giant worms, shrimp, um, also fish, basically supported by energy coming out of these fluids from beneath the surface. Right, now, uh, I, I'm not going to ask you to put a figure, percentage chance on it, but what, when we say life is possible, does that mean we can't rule it out, or does that mean we're talking 50-50, or just give us a sense of how likely it would be? Well, it, so this is the first step in knowing that this environment could support life. Whether or not life emerged, it, it's uh, probably likely that it's emerged somewhere. I'm not sure if it's on this particular moon. I'm not sure this moon has had enough time. Here on our own planet, recent results suggest that life emerged maybe within 400 million years of the formation of our planet. Now we think that this moon might be as young as 100 million years. We're not sure about its age. So we have all the ingredients we're just not sure if there's been enough time for life to have emerged and, and started to take advantage of this food source. And, and, and Mary, just where would this life come from? Is this, this isn't being seeding of, of, of meteorites flying around the solar system and planting life. This is life that's just evolving out of the chemistry of the soup it sits in. Absolutely. I think that the idea of panspermia is something that we talk about, which is sharing uh, a genesis on one body by seeding the second one. Um, that's something that maybe happens or, or could happen between uh, the Earth and Mars where there's been a significant amount of material exchanged. This is very far away from us. Enceladus is, uh, you know, a billion kilometers away. So the likelihood that there would be seeding from Earth-like out there is, is, is very, very slim, if not nil. And so we would be talking about a second genesis. Mary, Mary Wojtek, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for joining us. Well done. My pleasure. Thank you.